Welcome to lecture 23, 8051 interrupts programming using embedded C. In this lecture, we are going to be discuss about serial communication interrupt. So this is the interrupt enable register. So you are going to be configure this register if you want to use this serial communication interrupt for your application. So it is a D4 bit, it is ES, enable serial communication interrupt. You can make this bit as one as well as you can make this external access this is nothing but a global interrupt you can make this bit test one then only the interrupt is going to be generated for serial communication application why because this is the external this is the enable serial interrupt make it to one and you should make this pin as one then only the interrupt is going to be generate so that is the meaning so 1001000 so you convert it to the hexadecimal you will get 90 so 90 is loaded with ie so now you are uh, the 8051 microcontroller is going to be accept uh, the serial communication interrupt so this is a program in this example we will be using the serial interrupt to receive and transmit the data once the transmission comes completed the TA flag is going to be set one the TA flag is going to be set the interrupt is going to be generated the another one is the receive once you can receive the data from the external uh, the communication uh, uh, process for example you are receiving the data from a GSM module or you receive the data from the uh, external PC so once successfully received all the data by the microcontroller this ri bit is going to be one so if ri bit is going to be set the interrupt is going to be generated so two ways the interrupt is going to be generated uh, in case of serial interrupt one you have you suppose if you are transmitting the data from microcontroller to gsm module or pc if successfully completed that transmit interrupt flag is going to be set if it is set, the interrupt is going to be generated. Another one is the, the receive interrupt. It is the RA or it is a bit. If your microcontroller successfully received all the bits from the external the communication uh, devices like a GSM module or uh, the personal computer. So this receive interrupt is going to be one. So if it is one, the interrupt is going to be generated. So that is the Thing. So you come for this main program, the void main. So there is a, a less space to keep this one over here. That's why I keep this main program separately. So void main. So scan is equal to zero x five zero. Why I'm using scan? It is a serial communication. I have to be configure this register for. A serial uh, data transmission as well as reception so I am using uh, mode 1 uh, you can go through my uh, serial communication the lecture you can able to understand why I configure s con with 0 x 5 0 and t mod it is 0 x 2 0 why it is 2 0 means I am using timer 1 mode 2 it is nothing but uh, auto reload mode so you have to be generate the, the bar rate so 0x FD I loaded with the TH1 because I am going to be set the board rate of 9600 that's why I have loaded 0x FD in the TH1 so T mod is mode 2 timer 1 it is nothing but auto reload mode why I have set the auto reload mode to generate the uh, board rate I have loaded 0x FD again if you want to uh, how we can load this FD in the TH1 just go through my serial communication lecture you can able to uh, know why we are loading this FD into TH1 to generate 9600 bar rate after that you have to be as usual to run the timer and IE is equal to 0x90 it is nothing but I configure uh, interrupt enable register then only the uh, serial communication interrupt is going to be generated all other interrupts are uh, disabled only I uh, enable the serial communication that's why I configure IE with 0x90 and while open LED is equal to receive character so come to this uh, uh, program over here 
as include all eg51 this header file the leds uh, the entire port of p not it is assigned with leds so leds is equal to receive character so unsigned character uh, received char is equal to 0 i use the unsigned char data type i already told the 8051 you can usually you can use the uh, unsigned character don't use uh, even though you are using the integer value you don't use a sign int or unsigned int because of it consume two byte memory phase uh, space suppose if you are using the character data type it uh, consumes only one byte uh, memory space in the program memory so uh, finally you are going to be consuming a lot of memory so uh, this name this is a, a variable name that is received character is equal to zero so this is the isr program void serial underscore isr uh, close open bracket so what is the name for serial communication interrupt it is interrupt 4 you have to be mentioned this name interrupt 4 then only the uh, what is that if once uh, the interrupt is generated uh, the program has to be or the switch to this isr interrupt service routine then only it is going to be executed so you, you must include interrupt 4 so that is the basic syntax uh, in embedded c programming to what is that uh, write isr program for different interrupts of a051 microcontroller so in this i return it will check if ri equal to equal to 1 if the interrupt is generated directly come over the interrupt 4 it will check if ri equal to equal to 1 so whatever the data you have to be received through sbuf register only whatever the data if you want to transfer the you have to be load initially with the sbuf from that only you are going to be transmit likewise receiver uh, reception also whatever the value you are going to be receive with the help of sbuf register that is moved to receive, uh, receive character the receive character i assign with zero initially it is zero once uh, once the value received by s buff that is moved to receive character so initially receive character i loaded with how much it is zero so a receive character so whatever the value you receive that is moved to receive character after that once the whatever the value you receive through s buff once it is transmitted there is no values available in the s buff so i, I want to uh, what is that view that s buff value uh, so you can again whatever the value you can receive and transmit to this received car uh, variable again i I load this same value into the s buff i want to see in the kl compiler that's why i done this one uh, this is not required suppose if you want to see whatever the value i receive in the uh, what is that virtual uh, <coughs> pc so you can use this uh, syntax while uh, the kl demonstration you can able to understand this so uh, out of five interrupts uh, the remaining four interrupts or is that flag which uh, going to be get automatically cleared but in case of uh, uh, serial communication interrupt uh, a programmer has to be uh, disabled or what is it reset the interrupt once it is ri equal to one what will happen a reception i received all the bits successfully so ri bit is one so ri bit is one it is going to or the interrupt is generated directly the main program where wherever it is running after that it will switches over here here it will check the condition if ri equal to equal to one yes ri equal to one so whatever the data you receive that is moved to receive character again once again whatever the character uh, receive character uh, i received from this s buff uh, through the external uh, communication like gsm module or uh, uh, pc so again i loaded with s buff after that you make this ri equal to zero so uh, in serial communication the flag width is not going to be uh, get clear automatically so if it is ri equal to equal to one so you can make this function else if uh, ta equal to equal to one we just make ta equal to zero so in this uh, program i am just going to be concentrate uh, more on the receive interrupt flag okay now i am going for uh, the demonstration already i uh, copy and paste over here the same program i am going to be uh, compile it there is zero error zero warnings 
and build and rebuild now i am going for the debug option so here uh, what are the ports you require here the ports required is a p0 in this uh, program you no need of uh, port 3 here just it is a interrupt uh, thing here if we are using a timer 1 uh, more 2 so that's why we can go for the timer uh, 1 we can go why because we are going to generate the baud rate with the help of uh, the timer 1 mode 2 it is a auto reload mode so as already I told the initially the program has to be run from the void main so now going for the line by line execution scon is equal to 50 the scon register is available in the, the serial communication the port so now we are not going to be uh, seen over here because scon it is uh, available in SFR but we are unable to look out, look out here and tmod it is a 20 so 20 so it is a more to 8 bit auto reload so now i'm going to be generating 96 thread board rate so i have to be load mt with the th1 once you load this value into the th1 automatically that value is to move to tl1 so tl1 it will start uh, uh, count the value from mt to ff once it will reach ff again uh, it is going to be uh, uh, tf not it is going to be uh, set again uh, whatever the value available in the xft again it is automatically reload to tl1 so it is uh, that's why it is a bit auto reload one time only you are going to be run the timer so the next execution the tr1 is or is that uh, uh, going to be enabled th1 it is loaded with the 0 xfd and uh, tr1 is now already started ie uh, why because ie is equal to interrupt enable so ea pin is uh, high as well as here uh, the not shown here that is a, a serial reception and the transmission this bit is going to be enabled why because for serial communication uh, none of the bits whatever it not ie not ex not it is related to the uh, external hardware interrupter so no bits related to a serial communication only this global enable interrupt is enabled after that uh, here you see this enable okay enable uh, this uh, uh, column the serial reception and the transmission the enable already this particular interrupt is only enabled other interrupt noted uh, what is that not uh, enabled why the programmer have a choice it had to be the maskable maskable means so this said you have a provision to disable other interrupts you only focus on serial communication interrupt so now i am going to be uh, run the timer sorry run the program now we can carefully watch this one now initially uh, y becomes 0 the receive character i loaded with 0 so the receive character i assign with p0 the p0 is equal to nvds so p0 is equal to receive character that's why the p0 all the bits become 0 so now already i run the program so this is a uart so this is mainly related to the receiver interrupt so now i am going to or is that uh, the transmit the data from the external uh, communication device like ESM module or uh, PC. For example, this you can't think it as a uh, PC. It is a UART communication. UART is nothing but a serial communication uh, protocol. So I am going to be type capital A. So capital A uh, once capital A, it is received by what is that SBUF register? SBUF register. Uh, received properly received means automatically what is that you are uh, the interrupt the RA flag is going to be one if interrupt invoked the directly uh, the program uh, execution has to be switched over this ISR so RA equal to equal to one yes whatever the value in the yes buff now it is moved to receive character so receive character now what is the value it is a 41 so not yet it is moved to P0 okay after that again uh, receive character is equal to s buff why this line if you want to see what are the value you transmitted that's why i am using this s buff equal to receive character suppose i am not using this line then nothing will be a display on this uh, the uart uh, uh, terminal okay you can't able to 
uh, visualize after that it will again make it to r equal to 0 again your program is come over here you see this uh, the control is now over here here only this uh, it was uh, blinking so receive character it is nothing but a ascii value of a is 41 that is moved to led now again i am giving uh, capital b you can look at carefully so b means 42 and c once it will uh, generate the interrupt go to the main program uh, complete that uh, sorry go to this uh, interrupt service routine program once complete again back over here so always your program is going to be execute this while of one loop only this this s con t mod th1 tr1 ie this is going to be executed only once so always it is going to be uh, execute this line only whenever you are sending any data for example i am uh, sending now capital t so capital b means or is that the s buffet is going to be received received means r f flag is going to be set r f flag is set automatically your program is moved to here if r a equal to equal to 1 so s buffet value what is this what i received d the ascii value of d is moved to receive character and receive character is s buff that's why you are like, uh, going to be see whatever the data you send after that come over this while of one so whatever the data uh, you received that is moved to this p naught so that is a function it is performed so i am keep on suppose a capital small a it is 61 small b small c for example 0 means 31 31 through 32 3 30 3 okay for example for uh, your clarity why many of uh, you having a doubt why we are using this uh, like just to receive by yes go fund i move to receive character after that receive character is moved to this leds led is nothing but port zero oh now i am going to be uh, run it nothing uh, no error uh, arised it is build and rebuild it i am going over here so i run over here i am going to be uh, run this program now now you can carefully watch i typed capital j so it is 41 but whatever the value i typed over here it is not displayed over here that's why in the earlier uh, one before i edited here you can keep uh, what is that yes buff is equal to receive character then only whatever the value we received that is moved to yes buff that is what is that displayed on this uh, you what that is you what what you have uh, what is that sent and received by this microcontroller so uh, small what is that one two three and keep on one means 31 two means 32 33 34 35 this i am typing but it is not displayed over here that's why given on line as s buff equal to receive character then only you can able to visualize over here whatever the data you receive from the external communication device like uh, gsm uh, module and external uh, pc okay so this is uh, about serial communication interrupt so always you are the program is run over the mistake and the here the type over here no issue so here only what is that the program control always over here only whenever you receive something interrupt generated it goes to interrupt service routine there whatever the uh, state my return over here it will execute again come to this while of one so again then the interrupt is going to be generated again go to the isr and it will execute the statements whichever uh, we given in this the interrupt service routine program completed come anyway we are not going to use this uh, ta the transmit interrupt so only receive interrupt it will uh, execute it and again come back to the uh, what is that while of one program once again it will uh, receive the what is that generate the interrupt again go to this program and so on it will going to be continue thanks for watching